Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really useful tips and tricks that you need to know when trying to update your device to the new iOS 17, which is just around the corner. Now let's get started with the first thing that I suggest every iPhone user must do, and that is backing up their device before you try to even update to iOS 17. Now most likely nothing will go wrong, everything should go very, very smooth when updating to a new iOS version, but just in case something happens, of course, you want to make sure that you have a backup of all of your data. Now, of course, you can do that through a computer. If you have a Mac or a PC, you can do that through iTunes and backup all your data to your computer, or you can do that to iCloud simply by going to your settings, go to your iCloud settings. You will have iCloud backups right here. You can just go ahead, enable them, back up your device, of course, again, before trying to update your device to the new iOS 17. The next thing you want to make sure you have if you try to update to iOS 17 is storage. Now, updating to iOS 17 will require you to have a few gigs of free storage on your device. Usually, iOS will require you to have a few gigs more than the size of the update. Now, the update probably will be quite big. You can expect it to be at around four to five gigabytes, but it will require you to have at least eight or nine, maybe even 10 gigabytes of free storage on your iPhone. What you need to do before trying to update, head onto your iPhone, go to your settings general, and then go to iPhone storage. Right here, we'll see how much free storage you have. And of course, you will see down here all the different apps that are taking up a ton of storage on your device. Now, if you have apps right here that are taking a lot of storage, like right here, you can see 4.18 gigabytes for Instagram there. Of course, this might prevent you from updating your device. What I suggest you do, delete the app, update your device and then you can go back and install the app because of course most of this will be like data that the app has saved on your device locally as you can see the app size is actually quite small but the data right here is almost four gigs that's of course what is taking up a ton of space on your device so make sure you free up enough storage on your iphone then you can go ahead and update your device again 8 to 10 gigs should be available when you try to update your device. Another thing you must do if you want to just update immediately once iOS 17 is out to the public, make sure you have enough battery on your iPhone. Now, iOS won't allow you to update unless you have 50% battery on your iPhone or you have your iPhone plugged in and charging. So make sure you have either one of those if you just want to get iOS 17 on the first minute it gets out. And now let's move on to the updating part. As you know, with the release of iOS 16.4, Apple has changed the way we update our iOS and the way we switch between betas, dev betas, public betas, and of course, official releases of iOS. So first of all, updating from a beta. If you currently have your iOS device on iOS 17 beta, which is beta 8, the latest one, the next one will be the RC version, but let's just stay here for the moment. If you have beta 8 or beta 7, any one of the betas, and you wanna update from the beta directly to the public release of iOS 17, this is what you need to do. Head on to your settings, general, and then go to software update. Now, currently, if you have, again, a beta, you just go ahead and turn betas off right here. Once you have done that, you won't receive the RC version, but once this iOS release gets out on September 18th, most likely, you will get the official iOS 17 right here. So that's the way to update from a beta to the official version. Now, the other way will be to update from the RC version to the official version. Well, that actually cannot happen because the RC version will be the same software that also gets released to the public, but it will just get released a week later. So if you keep the betas on your device and you have the beta program enabled here under the beta updates, then on September 12th, after the iPhone 15 event, you will get the RC version on your device. Once you have installed that, that's it. You now have the official version of iOS 17, so there will be no update for you here when iOS 17 gets out to the public, and that there is no need for it to be there because you already have the same version that will get out to the public as well. Now, if you didn't update to any of the betas of iOS 17 and you're still on iOS 16, well, that's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just come here to software update. Again, make sure you have enough storage, enough battery on your device, and you will get the update for iOS 17 here. Just click the update button and you're good to go. 
Now that we're talked about the ways you update to iOS 17, is there a way to downgrade if you don't like it or you just feel like your device is not actually performing as it should with iOS 17 installed? Well, you can actually downgrade. There will be ways to downgrade and I will make a video on that once iOS 17 is out. But for now, of course, I cannot say anything. We have to wait for this update, the official release, and then of course, test a device, see how it does and whether the downgrade will go smooth. Of course, always you have to back up your data, especially when downgrading because something might go wrong. So we will try that and probably it will work, it should work. The last few years it has actually worked quite well, the method that we use, but if it does and I test it out, I will of course release a video on how to downgrade from iOS 17 to the old iOS 16. And for the final part, should you update to iOS 17 and when can you update to iOS 17? Well, in my experience using iOS 17 on daily basis here on my device, since the day one that it has been released on the dev beta, it has actually worked quite good. Now the battery sometimes is better, sometimes it's worse. It's no big change from iOS 16. You won't notice any big changes for the better or for the worst, but again, the performance on iOS 17 is actually quite impressive. And as you can see right here, it actually got me a huge score on Geekbench 6, which is amazing, 7,000 points here at the multi-core score and 2,645 there on the single core score, which is again, a great, great score to have. So performance wise, this will be a great update. It has been throughout all the betas, just a few like, bugs and glitches here and there but they have most of them have been fixed by now and it's actually a great update when it comes to performance and i believe it should actually work very very well on all their ios devices as well so i don't see any problems with updating to iOS 17 once it gets out. Of course, if you just don't like it and you feel like iOS 16 is better, which I don't think it is, you can again downgrade if you want to, but this is a great update and you should actually install it. But of course, to install it, we will have to wait a few days more. Now, the release of iOS 17 will most likely be on September 18th. Just taking a look at the usual, usual schedule that Apple actually uses in the past few years, we have the iPhone event, which, is, which now is of course confirmed. We have it on the 12th of September, and then the pre-orders will start for the new iPhones on the 15th, while on the 18th will be the release of the new iOS 17. Just keep in mind that the devices will ship on September 22nd right here, which means that the iOS has to be released before the devices ship. And usually Apple does this on the Monday of that week. It has done this for years. So I'm 99% sure that on September 18th, 10 a.m. Pacific time, you will be able to install iOS 17 on your device, of course, the official version. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos related to iOS 17 and everything iOS and iPhone 15, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. I'll see you on the next video.